We are all familiar with exploits of animals and adventurers like the crocodile hunter and man versus wild. But what about the animal adventures in Jamaica? So in this video, we'll be looking at five animals that are native to Jamaica. You won't find them anywhere else in the world. All right, let's get into it. We have the Jamaican swallowtail butterfly, AKA Homerus swallowtail. So this butterfly is named in honor of the Greek poet Homer, and it holds the title of the largest butterfly in the Western hemisphere. It is very distinctive with brown wings, which is adorned with a bright yellow stripe. The Jamaican swallowtail butterfly can be spotted in the morning or early afternoon happily sunbathing in treetops. There has been three major populations of the Jamaican swallowtail that is found across the island. You can find them where the Blue and Jonkro Mountain meets in the eastern population. Up in the western population, you can find them in the hills of the Cockpit country, and it is more likely to survive there as there is more protection from human activity. Sadly to say, the Jamaican swallowtail is a critically endangered species, and this is mostly due to deforestation by humans, and this actually threatens their natural habitat. So because of this, the central population, which could once be found near Mount Diablo in St. Anne, has completely disappeared. So next we have the Jamaican coney. So this is an endangered species and it is the distant relatives of the guinea pigs, which is very rare. You can find it at night in remote mountainous areas. It is about the size of a rabbit with very short legs. These little creatures are extremely interesting to watch. The Jamaican conies have human-like social skills. They groom and play with each other and can be heard calling out to their friends in the area. Can you believe it? Also interesting is how independent their young ones are. Conies can walk as soon as they are born and within a day or two, they're able to eat adult foods and keep up with their parents. Very large rodents and it weighs between 1.1 to 2 kilograms and can go as far for some adults up to 5 kilograms. So, and it's a vegetarian. In terms of its colors that you're seeing, it sounds green now, you have reddish brown and you may also have some variations of black. So the study that JCVT did is in the Blue and Drunker Mountains National Park, which is a world Her UNESCO World Heritage Site, but also an area protected under the Natural Conservation Authority at the NRT. So next we have the yellow-billed and the black-billed Amazon parrots. The scientific name is Amazona coloria and Amazona agilis. I hope I pronounced those correctly. So the yellow-billed and the black-billed parrots are native to Jamaica. And while they're closely related, each displays their own unique characteristics. The yellow-billed Amazon is a green bird with a pink throat, short tail, and distinctive yellow bill. Its cousin, the black-billed Amazon, is pale green and yellow with a dark neck and, of course, a dark gray black bill. This is found only in the tropical forest and the mangrove forest of Jamaica. These special birds are usually found at high altitudes, especially around Mount Diablo, in the cockpit country, and within the Blue and John Crow Mountains. Like the swallowtail, the parrots are also threatened by habitat loss and illegal trapping. Hello, Papa. 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 <laughs> Oh, 
Jesus! You just have caught it. What an ad! Next we have the Jamaica Iguana Cyclura coli. So this is actually the rarest lizard in the world and Jamaica is its home. Unfortunately, it is a critically endangered species. There's only about 50 iguanas left on the island and the population became extremely threatened with the introduction on mongooses who hunt and kill them. The Cyclura coli's were believed to be extinct in 1948 until they found a dead adult specimen in the 1970s. The species was then rediscovered in 1990 when a live adult male iguana was chased into a hollow log by a dog of Edwin Duffus. Edwin Duffus was a hog hunter in the Elshire Hills. By the time he got there, the dog had injured the animal, but the iguana was then taken to the Hope Zoo. Later after that, a remnant population was discovered. The Elshire Hills area is the only area of Jamaica where the iguana is found. Working to save and protect iguanas in the wild is the International Iguana Foundation with the support of the World Conservation Union, the IUCN Iguana Specialist Group. The, the rock iguanas of the genus Cyclura are, as a group, the most endangered group of lizards in the world. To protect the species, conservationists had to increase the number of iguanas in the wild. So last on the list, but certainly not the least, we have Jamaica's national bird, the Dr. Bird, aka Red-Billed Streamer Tail, aka Scissors Tail Hummingbird, scientific name, Troculus polytimus. As usual, I hope I pronounced that correctly. The hummingbird is one of the most beautiful birds I've ever seen in my entire life. So, of course, it's Jamaica's national bird and only native to Jamaica. You can find them in the west of the island from Morant Bay to Port Antonio. The doctor bird is bright green with a black crown and distinctive red bill and was nicknamed the hummingbird because the males can be seen with thin black streamers trailing behind them, which makes a humming sound. The Dr. Bird is featured in Ian Fleming's James Bond short story, For Your Eyes Only. The first line of the book reads, The most beautiful bird in Jamaica, and some say the most beautiful bird in the world, is the streamer tail or Dr. Hummingbird. Hummingbirds flap their wings in a figure eight motion, allowing them to change direction quickly as well as hover. But they are constantly burning so much energy that they must spend all day looking for food, only taking short rests in the shade. Hummingbirds are considered nectar feeders. And there was a time when we believed these birds fed only on nectar from flowers. But in more recent times, we realized that they do actually take insects very occasionally. And we suspect it's really just to get some supplemental protein. So there you have it. Five animals that are only found in Jamaica. We have to make sure that we are protecting these endangered species. I really think that Jamaica is a blessed country to have all these animals living there. I thank you all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourselves. One love.